Let's talk about it. What up, YouTube? My name is CJ. This is CJ Knows Tech, where I love to talk tech and anything creative. And today we are talking about this here, this golden beauty right here. Ooh, it's beautiful. This is the MacBook Air 2018, the latest and the greatest golden edition. You know what I mean? We got the gold member, the golden gun, the golden eye, all of that. <laughs> now, before you jump to go, oh, why would he even buy a 2018 MacBook Air? You could have got the 2017 MacBook Pro based model with no touch bar. No, I don't want that. That's dated, that's old. I don't want that one. As shallow as that may sound, that's what it is. I want the latest and I want the greatest. Now, I did have the 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch i9 <laughs> fully specced out. Oh, 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 except for it wasn't a, oh, oh, it was a at the time it was throttling really bad it was just having crazy issues with premiere pro so that didn't work for me guess what i returned it got the imac pro happy as ever happy as can be i got my pro machine my you know my, my oh, 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 oh. so what do i want now i want something portable that i could be productive with not so much a pro machine maybe do some light creative work you know what i mean a little light room a little photoshop maybe a little final cut i don't even use final cut maybe a premiere pro hd project you know what i'm saying i just wanted something a lightweight workhorse that's portable this is basically to me this is my ipad pro that's actually a computer oh that's another argument why not get an ipad pro now look the ipad pro is amazing the scores and the speed and all that stuff that it's doing is amazing what's its biggest drawback ios it's on ios ios can't even multitask the way that android can let me say that again iOS cannot even multitask the way that Android can. I need multitasking. I need to be able to have my email open, a browser, a tweet deck, a IG, everything. I need to be able to just skip through, fly through everything, respond to emails, answer my social media, answer my comments, maybe post something, maybe edit something, maybe get into the creator studio on a browser. You know what I'm saying? So that type of access right there is just bar none. I need that, I want that, that's what I want. I want a laptop. I don't want a tablet. now. There's a lot of benefits to having something like this. Now, yes, it does have a mobile style chip processor inside of it. Doesn't mean it's not capable of doing <laughs> the way that Mac OS is optimized and the way that it rolls, you know what I'm saying? You can do a little something, something with this. We're gonna see how much something, something we can do with this when I push it to the max. You know, I got I gotta see the limits of it because I'm curious. But also, that's not what I got it for. I didn't get it to go crazy with. Now, um, I'm staying away from these 2018 MacBook Pros. I will wait until Apple, you know, hopefully I, I'm going to wait till Apple get it together. Another argument you might have on this is price. Now, if you're out there and you're shopping the MacBook Air and you're kind of like hesitant on it, you're looking at the pricing, you know what I'm saying? You're looking at the specs and so forth. That's why I want to give this a run too as well. I want to let that average consumer out there know if this is a well-made purchase. Now, granted, everything in the ecosystem of Apple, you pay a premium for, it's, it's a caveat that's just kind of how it goes it is what it is but pricing is subjective because every budget is different but there are some people who see this as an entryway into apple's ecosystem especially for computing because it's on the lower end of the apple cost now granted you might be a student you might be a lightweight photographer and so forth so we need to see what can we offer and who this is exactly for now for me like i said it's productivity it's lightweight moving this moving that social media everything but it is keeping me in the apple ecosystem that matters to me the fact that i can have my notes which are on my phone on my computer and now on here just seamlessly that matters i can edit my note here and still pick it up here and i got like a lot of templates and things that i use for sending certain emails you know what i mean pictures and all that like if i edit it here and it's already edited here and then I can just go in there, copy and paste and put in the email or whatever, the web browser, however it is needed. That is convenience that matters to me. Now that's why I got it. Let's talk about should you get this bad boy? Now, this is gonna have to be a two part. The should you get it because I need to run through this thing. I need to put it through its paces. You know, put some good wear and tear on there the way the CJ wrote, you know what I mean? It'll probably be featured in my real life tech series. You probably get to see me go out and use it and so forth and i will report back but so far i have used it <laughs> so i can give you my first impressions now this is great 
The screen looks good. So far for the uses that I've had, it's been fine. It's been flawless. Mac OS is booming on there. The speakers, oh man. Now let's talk about the speakers. The speakers on here are amazing. This thing sounds great. Man, it was flashing lights, music, and moving foundations. I was watching, you know, YouTube videos and all that, watching Friday Night Viper on here. Everything was awesome. The sound that this thing, this little thing, <laughs> puts out is amazing. It's great. Now, talking about how little this is, this thing is nice sleek and light now another thing is the weight in the air is not far off from the macbook pro yes that's very true apple has gotten their macbook pros down in weight and size to the point that the air and the macbook pro are just about the same weight which is uh bravo to apple on that but that comes with caveats the smaller body the heat dissipation and all that that's what caused troubles with the 2018 macbook pro so you pay for the sleekness and aesthetics but Let's give a round of applause to the aesthetics that Apple always brings to the table, baby, because this thing looks great. We finally got the Retina display on the MacBook Air body and get down. If you know about the Retina displays, then you know that this will deliver. Now you can watch 1080p, full 1080p on here. I can't watch my 4K, but you know, that's okay. 1080p is the general consumption and 720 for a lot of people. Now, another great thing and cool thing that I really like about this, see, talking about getting the latest and greatest is the Touch ID. I love that, it's so quick. Now, another beautiful thing, if you are in the Apple ecosystem, this thing, you can unlock it with your Apple Watch. Same way I do with that. Apple Watch, I don't have it on <laughs> right now, <laughs> but your Apple Watch can unlock your devices. But Without that, you got Touch ID. That's security as well as convenience because I get in there, literally I just tap my thumb, I'm in it, boom. I don't have to bother with passwords as much, except for when you restart it. If you restart, you gotta do your password. It is what it is. Another argument that's out there is the brightness of the screen. I have yet to use it outside in full sunlight and so forth, but it's only 300 nits. The MacBook Pro is up to 500. You do the math, that's 200 nits of a difference. If you need a super bright screen, this may not be the one for you. And using it, I turned it up inside. It actually gets pretty decently bright indoors. So indoor use is A1. I need to go outside and give it a test. I will coming up in a future review. Some people are complaining about the keyboard. The keyboard doesn't have enough travel and X, Y, Z. Hey, look, I'm not the biggest or the best typer, <laughs> but this thing works fine. I tested it in the store before I even got it just to make sure I would be okay with it. And I'm fine with typing on this thing. It's no big deal. Uh, and I'm, and that's coming from someone who uses a big Corsair K65 Lux mechanical keyboard with the red switches. I love that thing. I love the sound. I love the satisfaction of the clicks, but I don't always have to have that, especially not on a mobile device. You know what I'm saying? You give up some things to get this thing looking the way that it looks and how small it is and slim. That's what I wanted, something small, slim, and portable, and I got that. So all in all, like, this is looking like a great device. Even your boy Apple World, he had trashed this device because he was trying to do his mobile editing, you know, some lightweight mobile editing, like any creative, like I would do as well. But it was crashing and he was having issues or stutters. It's just freezing all the time. But the reality of the issue for him was a plug-in and not the MacBook Air. But it was actually not the MacBook Air's fault. He has since released a video reneging his bad video. He even privated the bad video. And now he's like giving the proper praise to the MacBook Air. Makes me feel even more confident about my purchase thus far. Although I went and got it even though I saw that bad video. But it was great to see the Apple world like kept it 1000, kept it 100 and came back and let people know that this is a great device, great machine. We'll see how it works for me. All in all though, so far, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this bad boy. Oh yeah, another thing I wanna tell you. Now, Apple, stop giving us entry level hard drive spaces on your phones and your laptops that's just laughable. 128 gigs, seriously, come on, man. That's just as bad as the 64 gigs you offer on iPhones. That's ridiculous, stop it. Now, if you can't get the 256 model, that's okay. There's options. Now, it's not the best option to go with the 128 because you know a lot of that is gonna be used already with your system files and so forth and as you add hardware and over time, you're gonna eat that up. But there are options. I'm gonna show you a few of those options. Now, we're gonna start from most expensive to you know more budget friendly. I'm, that's just the way I'm going. Now, this right here is the top of the line, top of the move. This right here is a Thunderbolt 3 Samsung X5. Oh, 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 fastest thing since fast. Speed of lightning, fast, super fast, super, super, 
This thing you can edit 4K natively off of it. That's how fast it is. Another option that's an SSD that's easier on the pockets and what I would more than likely recommend would be one of these. These are like the Samsung. This one's the T3. They have since released a newer model called the T5. I'll link both down in the description. More than likely, I'll just link the T5 because I don't even think they make the T3 anymore, but it's an SSD. Look how light, small, and compact that is. And you can run it through the USB-C. That's what matters too. Then we have these. These are the ever so rugged Lacie hard drive. I'm pretty sure you've seen these everywhere. Creatives rely on these. They're very durable, you know what I'm saying? Even some of them are water and dust resistant. You know what I'm saying? And these you can plug in through USB-C. When you have a device that only accepts USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3, you need devices that are adapted to that. So that way you don't have to have a dongle. You could just have one cable to this device set up, good to go, minimal, lightweight, travel, go. And to all of those people who may still be complaining or if you're weary about getting a device that doesn't have the old USB ports and so forth or having to deal with a dongle, let me tell you something. Thunderbolt 3 is amazing. Like you guys gotta understand, Thunderbolt 3 is so, so, so great. The different things that you can do with it. You can run a display. You can run an external graphics card. You can run a dongle that has a bunch of things. You can daisy chain a bunch of things. Bunch of external hard drives, all kinds of things. It is the future. It is super fast. It is super right. I'll link a couple dongle options down below for this. For those of you, you know, coming from the more practical little setup. Yo, they got some golden ones from companies out there. I need to pick them up. You know, accessory, uh, MacBook Air accessory video coming eventually. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get some accessories. All in all, I think this is a great device thus far. Now I gotta put it through its paces. I gotta run through it. You know, I gotta grill it and see if it really holds up. But thus far, I'm super happy with it. So if you want a MacBook Air, go get you a MacBook Air. That's it. Let me find my remote.